Good morning, everyone. I am Pravalika from Air Crew Aviation's Private Limited. Today, my topic is about cabin crew British Airway question and answers, requirements, and benefits. And the contents that I'm going to share today is the meaning of it, requirements, benefits, question and answers. This is the British Airways. It was started in 1973. And the meaning of this, when I come across, British Airways is a flag carrier airlines of the United Kingdom. It is headquartered in London, England, near its main hub at Heathrow Airport. And here are a few details regarding customer services, parent organization, CEO, headquarters, and some other things. And the requirements that is needed to join a British airline, it is uh, a person should be of age 18 or above it. And he or she should be of 5.2 feet and it 6.1 with weight in proportional to a height and have a vertical function reach of at least 2.01 m able to swim 50 meters be fluent in write, written and spoken english be able to obtain and keep an airside pass have no visual tattoos or body piercing conduct standby duties close to the air airport base and this is the crew and the benefits that you're gonna get in british airways are onion leaves tax at 30 days per year raising to 34 days per year preference paying, but nothing is guaranteed and you will always have to do both long and short haul as it is in your contract unlimited discounted airfares for your friends and family life insurance contributory company pension scheme Subsidized staff restaurants. And when I come across the benefits, some more the benefits are like secure car parking close to Terminal 5, free airport parking at Hatred whilst on holidays, discounts at selected car hike, bonuses, awards, and performance, and commission for in flight retired sales. And the question and answers regarding the British Airlines are what do you know about our airlines? With this question, your potential employees are essential, checking that you have done your homework about the airline you're applying to. So make sure you do your company research before the interview and familiarize yourself with the key details. It's also a good idea to mention any positive aspects of the company that you are noticed to external industries, websites, news or magazine articles. And the next question goes like, why do you want to work for our airlines? So your main motivation for applying for any job is like to be a financial recompense. It's never a good idea to use this as an answer. Of course, there's no harm in talking about how it will allow you to travel and see the world. But remember that this is a perk that every airline offers. And the next question is, where do you see yourself in five years? This is a common question in many interviews, but in the context of the airline industry where your staff turnover can be high, you're essentially being asked how long you'll plan to stick around. Instead, talk about how you want to focus on growing, learning and improving yourself and mention how you're confident that the airline you're applying to allow you to do that. And the next question, what are your strengths? To answer this question, you need to first understand the key skills and personalities, traits that airlines are looking for. You then need to apply this to your answer. For instance, air hosts and hostesses deals with hundreds of passengers a day, each with their own needs, demands, and cultural background. The trick is to select the qualifiers that best describes you and then align them with what your interviewer is looking for. The next question is, do you prefer working alone or as a part of a team? In the context of a cabin crew interview, the answer to this particular interview question should be pretty obvious. Airlines are looking exclusively for a person who work well in a team as a success of their entire customer operations. Don't completely play down your ability to work independently. So airlines want the staff to be capable of thinking on the feet and not just relaying on instructions from others. The next question is, recall a time when you had to deal with a difficult customer. How do you solve the issue? 
there's a conventional wisdom in customer service circle about how in any given situation the customer is always right as previously mentioned good customer service is a large part of an air hostess job so your potential employees will be careful you are with the response when recalling your story be sure to make how you were empathized and non judgmental to both the customer and how at all times despite your own personal feelings and the next question how will you handle being away from family and friends this question isn't just alluding to the physical distance you'll be traveling but to the long and demanding working hours as well flights operate at all hours of the day 365 days a year so it's like that at some point you'll have to make sacrifices in your personal life you could also mention that rather than focusing on being away from family and friends you see it as an opportunity to make new ones while all while experiencing new cultures and learning new things in the next question are you applying for vacancies at other airlines this is a tricky question and to be honest a little naughty if in which you are casting the new white though the best approach is to be truthful about it not only does it shows your potential employers that you are serious about finding a job as an hostess but if you have performed well and are very strong candidate they might be a little more keen to ensure that they secure your services and the next question how do you feel about going to work each day at british airlines the answer is like i enjoy working for b b as a cabin crew every day is different and unique constantly meeting new crews which is different refreshing and exciting interesting environments and lot of areas for career progression the next question describe the working culture at british airways answer is low morale and pathetic attitude towards any passenger needing any help management almost non existent the next question how often do raises occurs at british airways raises occur based on performance so if you are based as a cabin crew you work towards different level which entitle you the more pay benefits mm. the next question do you have to have a manual or automatic license to be a baggage handler with british airways and the answer is no just trading at airport what advice would you give the ceo of british airways about how to improve it i would inform british airways ceo to improve the way employees are getting recognized for the hard work and the services to the company after years of many employees are not been noticed to the long works and hard works the next question is how are the working hours at british airways it is a part time only and the next how much does british airways customer service pay in philadelphia i believe it starts out at minimum and goes to 225.0 per hour Is British Airways hiring new workers during the COVID nineteen breakdown? No, there is a hiring freeze, and this is the tickets that a British Airways we are gonna get and a boarding pass. And thank you.